Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Arkham Knight Red Hood figure that was produced by Mattel as a part of the DC Comics multiverse line of three and three quarter inch scale action figures. Okay, the articulation joints on Red Hood were easy to move straight out of packaging. Uh, Red Hood has articulation in the head, shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the waist, the hips, and the knees. There's an additional articulation joint just above Red Hood's knee. And unlike the other Arkham Knight figures that I reviewed, um, Red Hood's head cannot turn 360 degrees due to the collar of his jacket. Uh, the elbows and knees appear to be single jointed, and the wrists spin 360 degrees but feature no other range of movement. The shoulders can move in and out, and 360 degree movement is available. The hip articulation is also somewhat restricted due to uh, the overhang of Red Hood's jacket, and the jacket looks like it could be removable with some effort, however the hood is not removable as it's a part of the head sculpt. Now I unfortunately discovered that the uh, left knee joint on my figure is defective and it's defective almost to the point of coming apart. So if you're curious, that's why Red Hood is looking somewhat pigeon-toed on this figure stand. And it was impossible to see that the left knee joint was defective in the packaging, so hopefully you'll be able to locate one that doesn't have this defect. Uh, the paint apps were done pretty well for the most part. There was some paint slop on the collar of his jacket, but nothing else beyond that. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'm going to give you a closer look as to what Red Hood looks like. Alright, Red Hood did not come with any accessories, so what I'll do now is a quick 360 of him for you and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So here he is from the front. Okay, here is Red Hood from the right hand side. Okay, here is Red Hood from the rear. Here is Red Hood from the left hand side. And finally here we are once again facing forward. So overall, um, I have to say that this isn't a bad figure. Uh, the paint apps were, for the most part, nicely done, and there's a good range of posing options. However, I still contend that it was a mistake on Mattel's part to not include any accessories with these figures, but as I've previously stated, um, I've come to expect that with the majority of these DC Multiverse figures. And discovering the defect in the left knee joint uh, was also disappointing, especially because it really wasn't all that obvious when I picked up this figure at my uh, local Walmart. So therefore, I think this Red Hood figure, it should get a good but not great recommendation from me. Um, I feel that this uh, Red Hood figure is a good display piece in this scale, so in spite of there not being any accessories, um, you, know, you know, this is still a fairly good addition to a DC Comics collection. And hopefully uh, you'll be able to get one that has a better leaf left knee joint than mine's got. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.